Mm. What is up guys? Well, good morning, I guess. It is 6. AM. I don't have to be up for anything right now. I just did not sleep well at all last night. My hair looks ridiculous, but I had the worst migraine in the freaking universe. And I just can't get any sleep. I've pretty much been up all night. I've laid in my bed trying to go to sleep and it's just excruciating. And that's why I look like death. I know I'm not going to be able to fall asleep, so I'm just going to have to stay awake. Good morning. <laughs> he says no thank you. So yeah. This is what time my mom gets up for work. And I usually sleep till like 11.30, so. Oof. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. I think I'm going to get up. It's like 6.30 now, and I still feel like that's a terrible angle. I still feel really sick. But I'm going to get up and eat something and drink some water. She's still sleeping. <laughs> gonna have a bowl of cereal like I pretty much do every morning but even though I have a headache I am in the mood to sit here and make pancakes and I actually am the worst pancake maker ever but I love pancakes so I'm making some right now there's one on the thing it is currently 6 44 a.m. I think I'm gonna eat some of these and I really don't want to take a nap because I know if I do then I'll sleep like all day long and I hate doing that so in my last vlog I talked about how we had an infestation and it's starting to come back I was just down there looking and there's a few little flying ants it's so hard to keep the animals out of the kitchen because when we get those infestations we have to use this like ant spray sorry that was a terrible angle I was already trying to flip my pancake we have to use this ant spray that is really poisonous to the animals so we have two cats and the dog is easier to keep out of the kitchen with the cats I don't like messing with them because they turn into ferocious beasts when you mess with them but I'm gonna have to do it later in the day because usually later in the day they go and hide the cats I just hope they they don't come back as much as there was in the last vlog I didn't show them because that's gross they're in the kitchen, which makes it a thousand times worse. But I'd rather them be out here than like in my bedroom. I know that sounds weird, but I'm gonna try and take care of that before it gets too serious. And my mom said it's gonna happen for about a week. <sighs> but I'm not ready to deal with this, but it's gonna be hard trying to keep the animals out of the kitchen, but I try my best and hopefully after I eat, I feel better. I wouldn't say these are my best pancakes. Everything literally was going wrong the whole time I was making them. I kept dropping the spatula. I kept accidentally moving the pan off the stove I'm like you can tell I'm sleep deprived because everything is just going absolutely wrong so I decided to venture back to my bedroom it is like not still dark outside but like the sun is rising I keep getting these waves of like pain and then times the headache goes away and I feel fine and then I feel like I can get up and be a normal person and then my head starts hurting again and I want to scream. Right now my flashlight on my phone is on because it wasn't bright enough in here to film a clip. And that light is slowly killing me with this headache. And I look pale as ever but I thought I needed to give you guys an update on this headache because... So this is gonna be the most like dry vlog ever because I'm over here talking like monotone about my headache. But if you get these terrible headaches sometimes too, comment below or give this video a thumbs up. 
because they are terrible. I think it's because of my birth control. I just don't know. I've been meaning to schedule an appointment to talk to my doctor about these headaches, but I can't remember my last name, let alone schedule a doctor's appointment. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to rest here for a little bit. And yeah. The heck is... What is up guys? I am feeling 110% better. I said I wasn't gonna go back to sleep because I was gonna sleep all day. But I did go back to sleep and I did sleep for quite a while but I set an alarm that way I didn't sleep for too long. Um, I set it for like 11.30 because I fell asleep around eight and I didn't want to sleep for too many hours but when you don't get any sleep at all, I don't think 11 o'clock is enough sleep. I probably look so sick. I still don't feel... Like, I know I said I feel 110% better, that's my headache. I still feel kind of blah, like I'm sick, but I don't know what is going on outside. They're like drilling into the ground. I don't know what's going on. So yeah, and it's probably been the most non-productive day I've ever had in my life because the kitchen is a mess, the living room is a mess, I still need to do my laundry. So I think I'm gonna try and get something done today. It is. 248. I haven't been asleep this whole time. I just kind of been chilling. After I woke up, I just continued to lay down. Sometimes when your headache goes away, it still kind of lingers. But it's not completely ugly outside. I mean, my neighbor's house is ugly because they're ugly, but there is some water right there because it rained like a torrential downpour yesterday. But it's pretty decent out. So I'll catch up with you guys later. Also, update on this infestation so last vlog my i kept telling you guys how my mom said that those ants are going to come back for about a week until they're done breeding which i'm going to continue to say ew breeding in my house gross but i think the ant spray worked the reason i think it worked is because this whole side right here is covered in them and I see a couple of dead ones right here. I know you probably can't see it because the floor is black. They were like coming in from this wall and then they were covering this whole panel. And ever since we sprayed that stuff, they have not come back. Pancakes are done heating up. Ever since we sprayed that stuff, they haven't come back. And my mom kept saying they're going to come back for about a week. They do this every year, but I think I sprayed a lot of that stuff so they won't come back because I tried to do as much as I could that first time because... We're not going to be able to do a whole lot. We're not going to be do <laughs> We're not going to be able to do that every freaking time because it's so hard to keep the animals out of the kitchen. So I pray that they will not come back at all the rest of the season. Yes, I know my hair is a wreck. I am about to eat something and do something with myself. Ooh, girl, you about to die. Wow, this is such an old episode of Pretty Little Liars. That was when they thought Cece died. Anyway, I just came back into my room. I just got done eating and I need to charge up my phone because it only has 7%. I was so out of it all night last night from my headache that I didn't charge my phone. I didn't even like really have a blanket. I was covering up with this tiny thing and it was just terrible and it was just terrible. My dog kept pushing this whole bed, this whole bed, right? My dog always sleeps, like, literally right, he sleeps, r I, like, lay right here. Here's my pillow, there's where I lay. Then he literally lays right here next to me. And then he, like, puts his arms out like this, like, he stiffs arms up. And then sometimes he puts his butt and pushes me off the bed. I'm like, dude, this whole bed, you push me off. Anyway, look at how much laundry I get to do today. So, um... Yesterday I did wear this shirt. Today is my ultimate lazy day like ever. So I'm gonna do this laundry and I just can't believe how much better I feel like. I feel like I'm in a totally different mood. But it's just because when you're sick, you feel like you're gonna die. And then when you feel better, you feel like a brand new person. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing some of this laundry because I'm sick of not having anything to wear. And every time I go to do laundry, somebody else does their laundry. So I finally get a chance to do mine. So let's do it. So 
so I kind of went overboard on the dish soap for this pan because this pan always gets dirty and nasty so I put like so much soap in it but it just really needs to soak in there so yeah I've cleaned up the kitchen a little bit there's still other things that need cleaned up in it but we really need to mop the floor but we use the Swiffer like I said before but we don't have any more of the little pads but I'm gonna just keep checking to make sure those ants don't come back. And I'm proud of myself that I kept them out that long. <laughs> Came out to the kitchen. I put my hair like half up, half down to kind of make it look a little decent. I came out to the kitchen and I forgot that I put a ton of soap in this pan and I came out here and her. I said, them bugs better not be back eating our walls like some roaches or what are those things called that live in your house? They like bite through the wood. I know it's not roaches. I know it's something else, but I can't think of them. But oh my gosh, I thought those bugs were back and I almost went ninja on them, but it's the soap in the, in the pan. <laughs> so we're okay. I have no clue if you guys can hear me, but how many of you guys hate laundry? Like it's literally a never ending cycle like it literally is like it's not just a cute little metaphor for a cycle it's literally the truth like I feel like no matter what I do my laundry is never all the way done like because I still have the clothes that I have on I still have like if I take a shower tonight I'm gonna have these clothes to wash and then the clothes I put on after that I'm like what the heck it's never all the way done so like I showed you that pile of laundry in my room and then I came out here earlier to do my laundry and realized I still have this whole freaking basket full of laundry. I low-key want to end this vlog so I can just do my laundry today and chill, but I don't think I'm gonna end it just yet. As you guys can see, I have all this laundry and there's still some in this basket. There's still also some in my room. What is up guys? So I, since the last clip, it's been about three hours, I cleaned the house. The couch looks nice. We always take this little like vacuum, it's like handheld vacuum and we vacuum the couch because we have a cat, oh, hmm. We have two cats and a dog and they get hair everywhere so we always vacuum that up and then I dusted and vacuumed the carpet and vacuumed the kitchen we have a vacuum that can vacuum hard floor so I vacuumed the kitchen because it really needs mopped we don't have the utensils the supplies that we need for that so we did and swept it with the broom and then sadly I hate to admit this but the stupid ants came back and oh my gosh, they came back like with their cousins because there was like these golden ants also. So I sprayed so much of this stuff that I had to keep the animals out of the kitchen again. I have that gate up. My sister's puppy isn't here today, so he was the one really barking yesterday. My dog doesn't really bark, but I still have this load of laundry to do and I have some clothes back there drying. But down here, I know this is gonna be gross. If you don't wanna see dead bugs, don't look. I'm gonna clean this up once all that ant spray dries, but I'm gonna show you guys. It's kind of disgusting. So I think I might have to spray some more because there's actually one alive back there and there's one crawling on the door. I think I hate this more than anything ever in life. Like there's some dead ones down there and I hate having to keep, oh my God. Yeah, I'm gonna have to spray some more. That one's already dying. I hate having to keep the animals out here. It's so hard. Like, I don't even know what to do. I'm gonna have to spray some more of this. Oh my gosh, guys. So, I think I'm just gonna end today's vlog. I feel like it's really long. I feel sad that I have to kill these ants, but they're infesting our house, so they, I have to kill them. But, I have to try and keep the animals out of the house even longer. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope it wasn't super boring with me complaining about my headache the whole time, but I'll see you guys next time on my corner. My favorite part of today. I was probably getting rid of my headache and being able to get up and clean the house. The kitchen is nice and clean. 
This over here usually is a freaking disaster with mayo and I straightened it up for my mom. I did a lot of cleaning today, so that was my favorite part. And I'll see you guys next time on my corner. I just realized I said see you next time on my corner. I'll see you guys next time on my vlog channel. Bye.